If you use dating apps and see a woman wearing red, that might be an indication that she's Good morning friends! In this video, I'm going to tell you what a woman means when she wears red. But before I do, please subscribe to the channel if you're not already, like the video and comment on the video for the sake of the algorithm. Now let's get started. First of all, why do human beings have a particular association with the color red? Well, it may come from our evolutionary mechanisms historically. For example, in primates, female baboons, macaques and chimpanzees have areas of their genitals that get redder when they're in their fertility phase, when they're ovulating. Whereas in humans, during women's ovulatory phase when they're highly fertile they also become more red due to increased vascularization or rather blood flow to certain areas of their bodies and before we get into the really interesting stuff let's briefly talk about how the color red affects men in particular men are judged as being more attractive because of looking more healthy when their faces are more red obviously this is not a pathologic kind of red we just mean within natural healthy variation if you're more pale you appear slightly less healthy to women and therefore less attractive. Second, and this is not unique to the color red, but still interesting. When men wear colors, the intensity of the color, called the chroma, is associated with the man being more extroverted or open, both toward men and women. Which is interesting given that our favorite colors have nothing to do with our personalities. This has been confirmed even recently. But nonetheless, men who wear more vibrant colors, including more vibrant reds, are considered to be more extroverted appearing and more open to social experiences. Next, and this may be for the ladies, how do men judge women that are wearing red clothes. Number one, they consistently find them more attractive. They consistently think that these women have some kind of sexual intent and their judgment about the woman's sexual intent is not affected by their judgment of her attractiveness such that even unattractive women are thought to be more interested in sex when they're wearing red. Moreover, men are more likely to pick up a female hitchhiker if she's wearing red as opposed to any other color and this only holds for the color red as well. And men are even more protective of their female partners when the female partner is wearing red versus another color. They're more protective as towards her relations with other men, more likely to be considering that they may have intrasexual competition over the woman when she's wearing red, although they might not recognize this consciously. So basically, this means that when a woman is wearing red, men are more likely to find her attractive, to think that she wants to have sex, and to think that she may be less trustworthy in a sexual way. Next, before we get into woman's intent, I just want to briefly mention how we think colors, clothing colors, should be associated with the level of tanness or paleness of a person. First of all, when women are shown, people are more likely to think that they should wear more red or blue hues. And there are reasons for this which we'll get into a little bit later. But if those women are more tanned, people think they look better in more red colors. Whereas if those people are less tanned, and more pale, people think that they look better in softer, bluish, sort of palish colors. This is really about the warmth of the red hues and the coolness of the blue hues. Next, how do men judge women's attractiveness as associated with the color red over time? Well, first of all, if they view the color red and then view a woman, they'll rate her less attractive than they would have if they didn't see the color red before her. This may be because of the absence of the color red around her. They're developing higher standards because the color red already made them have some expectations of attractiveness potentially. Finally, it appears that some kind of conscious processing of the color red is necessary for this attractiveness feature to be attached to the woman. Not that they have to think about it consciously, but they need enough time of analysis or processing in the mind to be able to find that extra attractiveness from being associated with the color red. Next, let's review the first study that ever showed that women communicated their sexual intent indeed by wearing the color red. And this was a study from 2012 on dating websites. What they found was that within a single dating site, women were more likely to have a picture with the color red if they had sexual intent and less likely to have any pictures with the color red if they had marriage intent or serious long-term relationship intent. Whereas they also found that in between dating sites, the amount of red clothing also differed such that dating sites that were focused on marriage had less women wearing red on their profile pictures. Whereas dating sites that were focused on sex, for example like Tinder, had more women that were wearing red in their profile pictures. Next, are women more likely to wear red red clothing when they first meet you, if they think you're attractive? And what does it say if they do wear red clothing upon your first meeting? Say for example, you were chatting with someone on a dating app and then met them the first time. 
if they wore red, what does it signify? Well, here I'll review a very interesting experimental study in which it was found that when women thought that they were about to meet an attractive male as opposed to an unattractive male or an average female, they were more likely to wear the color red. And this was compared to the color green because green was considered to be not a favorite color among people. Blue is often a favorite color, so they didn't want to use blue here. But they also did a second experiment in which they compared, they gave the women choices between red and blue t-shirts. In this second study instead of telling the females that they were going to meet and by the way I should mention these females were both straight or bisexual they just didn't include homosexual females but they included bisexual in this second study the women in the study were told they were going to meet either an attractive male or an attractive female as opposed to an average female or an unattractive male here they again and the choice was between a red shirt or a blue shirt blue being a favorite color again red was the favorite color when meeting only the attractive male but not the attractive female and through questionnaires it was found that wearing the red color was associated with the attractiveness and the status of the man that they were meeting such that they would be more likely to wear a red shirt if they're meeting an attractive or influential high status male. And finally, how does a woman's choice of wearing red clothing reflect her fertility? Well, what was found is that when women are in their ovulatory phase, meaning they have high conception risk, they are more than three times more likely to wear red or pink. In fact, 77% of the women studied who chose to wear red or pink were in their high conception risk phase of the month, their ovulatory phase. And their fertility had no effect on any other choice of color except the colors red and pink. And finally, women are are also known to wear more colorful makeup during their ovulatory phase when they have high fertility. So this was a lot of dense information. What are the takeaways from this? Well, first of all, we'll remember that men seem to have evolved to look for the color red in females because they're more fertile. Second, being pale is seen to reflect poor health and associated with wearing paler or colder, less warm colors like blue. Third, being redder is seen to indicate better health and being tanned is associated with wearing warmer colors. It's associated with warmer colors looking better on the person. And fourth, men find women who wear red more attractive and think that they are indicating their sexual intent by wearing red. I'm running out of fingers, so we'll continue without that hand. And sixth, when men find women more attractive or indicating sexual intent, they're more willing to help them out socially. And what this might mean is that a woman who wants to manipulate a man at work, for example, or so on, should wear red the day they're trying to manipulate them and should likely not wear red on the last occasion that they see them before that important date. Seventh, women are more likely to wear red when meeting you for the first time if they have high expectations of you. And so if you meet a woman for the first time and see that she's wearing red, you can take it to indicate that she may think well of you. Eighth, if you use dating apps and see a woman wearing red, that might be an indication that she's more willing to have casual sex. So if you're looking for that, you might want to look for women wearing red in their profiles. And finally, for those of you that wish to avoid having children, you may want to avoid the lady at the bar in red. Anyway, friends, I hope you found this interesting. I look forward to seeing you again this afternoon.